and tornadoes wreak devastation on all sides. The Earth turns into a planet on which it is impossible to survive. These images are an excellent depiction of the kind of disaster, just as described in the film, awaiting mankind and all living things in the event that the equilibrium protecting all the delicate balances on Earth is impaired. Allah has created the world we live in and the entire universe in such a way as to support life. This is one of his blessings and mercies on his servants. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. Do you not see that Allah has made everything on the earth subservient to you and the ships running upon the sea by his command? He holds back the heaven preventing it from falling to the earth except by his permission. Allah is all compassionate to mankind, most merciful. What we have seen so far is just one part of the balances essential for life on earth. As we continue with our examination, we shall encounter a much longer and almost endless list. A list of balances essential for life. The effect of the attraction between the moon and the earth. If this attraction were any greater, the strong attraction of the moon would have a powerful impact on atmospheric conditions. The speed at which the earth revolves around its own axis and the currents in the ocean. If it were slightly less, it would give rise to violent climatic changes. The Earth's magnetic field. If this were any stronger, violent electromagnetic storms would blow up. If it were any weaker, the earth would have no defense against the harmful particles emitted by the sun and known as solar winds. Life would be impossible in either event. The size of the earth. If the earth were any smaller, gravity would be considerably weakened and would be unable to maintain the atmosphere around it. Were it any larger, gravity would be very much stronger and the atmosphere would become deadly since it would trap various poisonous gases. The thickness of the ozone layer. Were this any greater, the temperature on Earth would fall enormously. Were it any less, the Earth would overheat and have no defense against the harmful ultraviolet radiation from the Sun. Seismic activity. If this were any greater, living things would be exposed to constant destruction. Were it any less, nutrients on the ocean floor would fail to mix with the water and this would have a damaging effect on marine and thus all life on earth. The list goes on. Millions or billions of measures and balances like those shown in the above list all operate at every moment for the benefit of human beings. By way of Allah's creative artistry I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. Allah is he who creates the heavens and the earth and brings forth many products as a mercy by causing rain to fall from the sky. And by his command he makes the sea suitable for boats to sail upon it. And he places the rivers at your disposal. 
He places the sun and moon at your service and their motions, and places the day and night at your disposal. Miracles that take place every second in our bodies. Before you even opened your eyes into the world, you began living in an order that was specially prepared for you. Your body was specially and perfectly prepared for you when you were born. For example, a perfect pair of eyes had been created so that you might clearly see the world around you. Although you had yet to come in contact with the air outside, a respiratory system enabling you to breathe periodically appeared while you were still in your mother's womb. You came into the world with a digestive system capable of digesting all kinds of foods with hands and fingers with their unique prints, eyelids to protect your eyes against foreign bodies, and many other such organs and systems. It is the flawless functioning of this perfect system that has allowed you to survive so far. And these miraculous systems have been continuing to function in your body ever since you began watching this film. In short, everything that happens inside the human body over the course of 24 hours throughout a person's life does so by the will of Allah and is a subject of his protection and infinite compassion. Your heart, for instance, which beats an average of 70 times a minute throughout the course of your life and began doing so while you were still in your mother's womb is a miracle. We also breathe all our lives. We breathe approximately 21,600 times a day. This means that a human being breathes an average of 591,300,000 during the course of his or her life. Our bodily systems have been so arranged that there is no need for us to even think about breathing. It constantly calculates how much we need to breathe as we walk, run, read, or even sleep, and causes our lungs to work accordingly. We breathe so often that we imagine this process to be a very ordinary one. The fact is, however, the way we breathe, the way our hearts beat, and the functioning of all other organs in the body take place as the result of the workings of a highly complex system. The 100 trillion cells in the human body act just as if they were acquainted with one another. They discharge the special responsibilities bestowed on them right to the very end with no interruption or neglect. This process takes place all the time without us ever being aware of them. This activity in our bodies even continues while we are asleep. One of these systems that are in constant activity and never ceases working for a single moment 
is the body's defense system. The system under the skin protects the body day and night against invaders of all kinds with all its might, just like a well-equipped army. Most people are not aware of how important the defense system is to their living healthy lives. However, with this perfect system created by him, Allah protects human beings at every moment against the hostile forces surrounding them on all sides. The slightest impairment to this system gives rise to serious diseases that are very difficult to treat. Many people live under very difficult conditions due to their having impaired defense systems. Allah creates such impairments as a means for people to become aware of and give thanks for the blessings bestowed on them. All these details taking place at every moment in the human body are proofs of Allah's sublime creative artistry. I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan. Say, all favor is in Allah's hand and He gives it to whoever He wills. Allah is all-encompassing, all-knowing. He picks out for His mercy whoever He wills. Allah's favor is indeed immense. The miracles taking place around us every second. The sun is the main source of energy of life on earth. However, human beings and animals are unable to